Yeah. And I want to highlight something you said kind of early on in that. And that's Sundays, the people around you, your relationships, they know what you do on Sundays. And then they support that. And I was talking to somebody, this is a while back, and they said, hey, what's your best advice for getting into creativity, you know, getting good, being successful, whatever? And I said, I think first and foremost is to marry the right person. It's to surround yourself <laughs> with the right people that are going to understand. So for instance, my wife, you know, now that I'm switching gears into a lot of this YouTube stuff, my family knows that Tuesday is YouTube day. That in the morning I'm working on scripting, I'm working on, I'm researching, I'm finding things, I'm recording in the afternoon, sometimes the evening, depending on how long the first time takes. Like, you're just not going to see me much on Tuesday. And I need you to leave me alone, and I need you to be away from the area where I record because I needed to be quiet. You know, the microphone picks up stuff. Like, even right now, you and I are talking. Two minutes before I hit record on this, my wife is like, all right, kids, let's go to McDonald's. And she took everybody out of the house, and they're all gone. You know, I'm not dealing with, with kids running around and crying and all that stuff because they get it, and they understand. Yeah. And part of that is I am treating this as a profession. Even though I'm not making money, if, you know, I think I've made eight bucks on YouTube ads at this point. Like I'm not making an income, but I'm acting like this is my job because my mentality is, okay, I want to take this full time. How do I do that? Well, I have to act in a way that as if it already is. Like I have to act like I'm going to work. I'm punching the clock. I'm getting things done. Even though I'm not making money yet, I'm going to at least put myself in that like situation or mind space of doing it and the people around me get it too. And then just scheduling that out like you would anything else. You know, so many people are like, hey, I don't ever have time. I, you know, I'm always this or that. It's like, well, that's because you're not making time. Like you, you have time for Netflix. You have time to scroll through Instagram for two hours. Like you have time. It's just a matter of utilizing that time in a way that actually points towards the things you claim you want to accomplish. So if you really want to do them, schedule them out. Like you said, Sundays is when I do this writing thing, period. Now it's helpful that there's a profit motive in there too. Like there's a money thing. I got to pay bills. So I got to do this thing. I think that helps yeah. as well. But just like scheduling it out. There's a framing that I've always really enjoyed, which is it's not you don't have time. It's that this is not a priority. You know, yeah. there's a mug. Beyonce has the same 24 hours of the day as everyone else. Now, she also has an entourage and a bunch of money. But when it comes down to it, like we all get 24 hours in a day. So it's not that you don't have time. It's that you have different priorities. Some of those priorities are very important. You have kids. <laughs> you need to prioritize those kids above other things. But at the same time, like you have made that choice. It's not that you don't have time. It's that you've chosen to prioritize parenthood above certain other things. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm reminded of Hulk Hogan back in the day when he was wrestling nonstop. And he would talk about how he would wrestle 400 days a year. Yeah. And it's like, well, Hulk, there's only 365 <laughs> days. Like how he goes, yeah, I wrestled in Japan so much that I was constantly crossing the international date line and I would wrestle <laughs> in California and then I would get on a flight and wrestle in Japan. He's like, I wrestled 400 days a year. And he's serious. He's not being metaphorical, you know, because that was his life and that's what he wanted to do. Now, he also was making a lot of money, so maybe we can't you know, discount that. But I think that's just something to think about. It's like, do you really want to do this thing? Is it a priority? And if it's not, that's okay. But at least use that language. Don't say, I don't have time. Say, this is not a priority because I think that hits harder. Like, it carries more weight when you have to just look in the mirror and admit to yourself, it, it's, this it's is not hard. externalizing. It's not that time is the problem it's that you have yes. made a choice right instead of blaming the universe yeah it's saying no i am in control of my own life my own destiny my if there were 30 hours in a day i would be able to do what everyone else does it's like well everyone else does it without 30 hours in a day like we're not all jumping on a plane to japan but one of the screenwriting podcasts in my screenwriting playlist is uh that screenwriting life or this screenwriting life it's very good it's, it's two of the women who worked on inside out and a bunch of other pixar films and they've had a, a long career and one of them said something that it's so simple, but it just really, I've remembered it for years now since I heard it. And that is uh, when, you, you know, you have to value your writing time. Again, this is so simple. There's, there's no deeper meaning than that. But she said, you know, when you look back in 20 years time, will you wish that you'd spent more time prioritizing your writing or saying like, look, it's I live in LA. It's very easy to be like, I'll go to an event every night. There's, there's 400 events every night in LA that I would have a great time at. And by saying yes to all of those, I'm saying no to screenwriting. By saying yes to, you know, hanging out with friends five nights a week. Have friends. I'm not saying have an unhealthy life. But every now and again, just be like, cool, have I made that choice? Have I valued my writing time and gotten some writing done? If not, you, you're not going to get the writing done. <laughs> yeah. It reminds me of a joke. It goes something like this. I met a man at a party and I said, hey, what do you, what do, you do for a living? And the guy said, oh, I'm writing a novel. And I said, oh, neither am I. 
<laughs> and it's because it's hard, right? It's hard to do those things as creative people.